Good morning iFam, it is Wednesday and it's the 5th of September I want to say today and today has been quite a special day so far. The girls woke up this morning and started back at school. Esme at a brand new school completely for which she was absolutely adorable. She was just loving life this morning and really excited for it all. Not even a little bit nervous, even when I was walking her in this morning she was just like, she was gone, she was off, she was loving life. Isabel started year 8 this morning which was a big big deal for her and Isla has started year 2, all of which all the girls this morning were really really excited for all of that so it's been really cute. We did like a little photo shoot this morning in their new uniforms and stuff and they look so cute. I just wish we could show you guys how cute they looked but obviously for privacy reasons we can't do. But saying that Sarah and I have had a bit of a morning this morning at the house sorting things out unpacking from Australia and getting the house back into like an order basically but Sarah's not well this morning to the point where she's actually about to go to hospital because um look guys I look so I don't well know if you wanna... <laughs> but she's so been well. she's been defiant about it you I literally don't want to go to hospital I know but you have to I you know literally you do. don't want to go we've tried to get me in doctors it's not working you're all thinking why <laughs> <laughs> and it's just one 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 I've told her she needs to go to the hospital so basically I should just probably say so last night at, at like 3 a.m. I woke up with severe, and I'm not talking like a little itch, I'm talking like severe itching of my palms and my hands. And it was itching so bad that it was actually burning. My whole hands were on fire. And I kind of just thought, like, ignore it and things like that. And then I made the mistake of itching it, and that just made it a million times worse. Got up again at five, and then I was up for the day as of five. Probably your face is swollen as well. Far definite. Oh gosh, the itching so bad. So, so I got up, got up at five, and then got the girls ready for school, sent them off on their way, and then got back into bed because I can't explain to you how this itch is. It's like horrendous. Like my whole hands are driving me insane right now. And then when I got back up at like uh, nine, something like that, it wasn't too bad. Like when I was laying in bed, when I'm laying in bed and I'm just laying still in bed, it's not too bad. But when I get up and I'm walking around, it's horrendous. My knees are also on fire, not to the feel, like to touch. If I touch my whole leg, it's freezing cold except my knees, which are scalding hot. And then I've, you probably can't even see on the camera. But I have come out. <coughs> oh, oh God, pretty made me jump so bad, then the camera just went flying. Anyway, um, so if I'm up and walking around, the, the itching and the burning's like, it's severe. So we tried to get into the doctors because I don't know if you can see, but it's like blotchy. And that's not from itching because I've not been itching. I've just been like slowly rubbing it. But it's all the way up my arm, all the way up here. Um, so I tried to get into the doctors, they can't get me in at all until at least tomorrow and then there's no guarantee I'll get in tomorrow either. So I called um, because I've also been feeling quite faint and they said that these symptoms they would usually say it's an allergy or an allergic reaction but I know for a fact I didn't eat anything yesterday that I didn't vomit back up and we haven't changed anything so nothing's changed and they said because I've been travelling and things like that it's best to just go get checked out. So that's what I'm doing, I'm going to get checked out. <laughs> Are we ready to go? Yeah, let's go. I thought I'd come on and give you guys a quick update. I'm just sat waiting to see a doctor right now. I've got really bad chest pains when we're in the car on the way here. Kind of, I felt like it might have been muscular. It was kind of right in the middle here. Sorry guys, I'm feeling not great at the minute. Uh, I went straight through my back, kind of like a spasm type thing. So I mentioned it when I came in and they did like a heart trace and some blood tests and now they suspect only suspect that I might have a blood clot on my lung which is quite scary but I did have this with Isla and it was never confirmed whether I had one or not because I refused the CT scan and the x-ray to confirm the diagnosis because of the risks to the baby. Uh, they told me that it could make the baby blind and the dye they used could do this to it and that to it so I refused to have the tests when I was pregnant with Isla and so they treat me as though I did have the blood clot and so it was never confirmed and never not confirmed and just because I've had because of that and also because of the fact that we've just done a lot of flying and I'm pregnant that puts me at a higher risk of having one so they need to rule it out I'm not really sure what they're going to do now they did have it down on the system that I'd refused the scans before and have said that they totally understand and and that they're going to work out if there's an alternative test that I can have that's not as invasive to the baby and make a plan so I'm just waiting now to see the doctor 
and I'll keep you guys updated as soon as we know anything. So I just got up to the maternity assessment unit which is where I've been given a bed just until the doctor is able to come and have a chat with me. I've had an x-ray and of my chest and I'm just waiting now for the doctor to come up to this maternity unit and decide what treatment I'm going to get if I need any. So fingers crossed I'll be out of here very soon. All right guys so skip forward a little bit right now it's not turning out to be the best day around here. I'm sure you've had updates from Sarah's camera and you might know but just in case she hasn't been able to film anything today basically Sarah's been admitted to hospital um, with a suspected pulmonary embolism which is basically a blood clot in your lungs which they suspect might have happened from all the long haul travel that she's done recently. Being pregnant puts her at a bit higher risk of that happening and they're doing tests right now to rule that out or, or find out that it is that and hopefully and get it sorted for her basically. So she's not having the best days right now and I've just been dealing with a lot of kind of other things just like around here like getting the girls from school they've all just come home from their first day at their at school back at school and they're all in the best moods ever because they all had the best days ever but we'll go check to them in a minute but just in case Sarah hasn't updated you guys yeah that's what's happening with her we don't know whether she's going to be coming home tonight or not or whether she'll be staying in the hospital or whether they'll discharge her with medication or what so we're just waiting to hear but it's likely to be a lot later into tonight this evening before we actually know that once she's had some tests done and those results have come back so in the meantime it's just us rocking it solo back at the house right now we've got a nice slow cooker meal of shepherd's pie that's been on since this morning that Sarah thank goodness she did put on for us before she got poorly this morning. And guess what I had for my lunch? Yeah. Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. So Sarah's put us a shepherd's pie in the slow cooker this morning before she got poorly and Esme's had shepherd's pie for lunch at school today. But Esme, Alexa, you, I want to talk to you first because you, madam, has probably had the biggest day of all today because you started a yeah. brand new school. How was it? Amazing! <laughs> it was so much fun! Oh. the best day of school in my entire life. I have so many friends. I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. I literally was stood there watching her walk out of the school with a massive crowd of girls around her, all holding her hands and giving hugs and kisses goodbye. It was so cute. Yeah. So, so sweet. I've never felt more proud in my entire yeah, life. but I have, I've got some homework. But the teacher said it didn't have to be in until, ne until Tuesday. Yeah. So um, the teacher said that I don't have to do it tonight. Yes. Yeah. We've got a lot Oh, not really, but we'd have to do it tonight because it's my first day. So mm -hmm. yeah. Are you sure she said that, Madam? No homework yeah, tonight. She did. Uh -huh. she did. I wouldn't do it tonight. It's in my diary downstairs, but um, in my bag. And she, and she said uh, you should you you don't need to do it tonight, but you can definitely do it tomorrow on the next day. And if you've already done it, then you can bring it in the next day. You don't have to bring it on Tuesday. Okay. But not no past due date. Really. I'll believe you on this occasion. But so, you basically had the best day ever. Yeah. yeah. And there's a snack bar. Well, it's not really a snack bar, but it's like a fruit bar at lunchtime, where you can just keep getting more fruit. Fruit. Did you go for it today? I got loads of melon. Loads of melon. <laughs> <laughs> loads of melon. Yeah. You looked so cute in your uniform this morning. I wish we could show the iPhone yeah. what you looked like, but we can't. But I wish we could. Where's Mrs. Bill? She's playing Minecraft. Is she in here? Yeah, I'm making a new creature on Minecraft. Character. Whoa, really? Yeah. I don't, can you spare two seconds to tell us about your day at school today? Um, How was your first day in year two? Really good. You're getting such a big girl now. Yeah. Year two and you've got a brand new teacher and you love him lots, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's really cool. Yeah. And you had a really good day seeing all your friends. Yeah. And you played lots. Yeah. And you worked hard. Yeah. And what did you do at the end of school today? What was it um, called? I went on Baby Shark. You sang Baby Shark yeah. all the school? Yeah. How does it go? Uh, like Baby Shark doo 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 like Baby that. Shark doo 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 yeah. doo doo. Isla came out of school today absolutely buzzing at the fact that all the whole school has sung Baby Shark in assembly. Yeah. You had a really good day? Yeah. Okay, I'll, obviously I'm ruining your night right now by like disturbing your Minecraft session, so I'll just leave you to it, okay? Okay. Okay, you have fun. I'm gonna get dinner ready, and I'll call you down in a minute, okay? Okay, you continue making lots of mess, like, you know, you're good at, and you're doing really well right now, so. Okay, I'll shout you in a minute, sweetheart. <laughs> so we had three girls, all with really good first days. Yeah, all oh, scared. <laughs> but it's back to school tiredness for sure. Yeah. In fact, you know what it is actually, guys, right? We have literally, all of us as a family have woken up between like 5 a.m. and 7 a.m every day since we've been home. So for the last two mornings, we've not been able to sleep past like 5 a.m. very well. But I watched watching this morning and she was already up and dressed and like doing homework at 7 a.m. And I was like, really? <laughs> so, you know, we're all- You say something, you like, I went, come on, and he went, 
No, it's because I just went, good morning. And he went, when did yeah. you get up? <laughs> and I was like, oh, just about like an hour ago or something. <laughs> so basically we're all super jet lagged. We just got a bit of good news from Sarah. She just texted me and told me that she's not going to be staying in tonight, which is great. She's had some tests done and stuff like that. And she's going to probably be sent home with some medication, which I'm very happy about. Although she's not happy about the fact that she's about to miss the shepherd's pie. I promised her I'm going to leave her some and save her some for when she gets back. But oh, it's looking so good right now. It's just bubbling away, getting all that cheese browned off on the top right now. Should be ready in about 10 minutes. Not a minute too soon. So my belly has been craving that ever since Sarah put it in the slow cooker this morning. So I am finally on my way back home. I don't think I've ever felt so much more relieved in my entire life. They kind of rolled out, a, a, they offered me the doctor came they offered me to have the scan that I'd previously refused with Isla's pregnancy and I refused again for the same time I don't feel like I've got a blood clot and the pain just I don't I've never had one so I can't really say but the pain feels more muscular to me and just with the risks of the scan which are a slight increase risk of breast cancer in me and because there's already breast cancer in my family I just don't want to take that risk and then a very slight very slight increase in childhood cancer in the baby I just didn't feel like at that time it was worth taking the risk especially because I didn't believe that I did have a blood clot so I asked what the procedure would be if I was to deny that and she said I'd have to go away and speak to my boss which she did and then she came back and said actually looking over your history and things like that we don't we don't believe that you do have a blood clot. I'm so relieved that I didn't go for the scan straight away. I just feel like they were covering their backs which is completely understandable but I didn't have it. She gave me some anti-allergy tablets for the swelling and the, the itching slash burning because she weren't quite sure what that was. She said she doesn't know um, and to try some anti-allergy tablets and just see how that goes she gave me some anti-sickness tablets and she gave me some gaviscon just to try because that might be what the the pain is she said it could be muscular it could be basically anything but she gave me gaviscon as well because i have been suffering with a bit of reflux and now i'm on my way home yay i'm going for my shepherd's pie that i put in the slow cooker at like this morning <laughs> i thought i was going to miss out and not be able to have any Chris literally sent me a message when I said I'm on my way home. He sent me saying, do you want any of this shepherd's pie saving? Um, yes, of course I do. So I'm on my way home now. I'm really looking forward to having that and also catching up with the girls. Chris has already let me know that they had a great day at school today. I can't wait to just give them all a big squeeze and yeah, just hear how their first days back at school went. So, if you are back to school today, then I just wanted to ask you how your first day was. Comment down below in the comments. But anyway, I wanted to show you two of my favourite things that I found with Esme. So first, first up we've got my camera, which I got for Christmas. This is the turn on button when it turns on. Look at that, and then I've got like, some pictures there, that was me. So it's like basically on that so okay so that's one and then the second thing is my baby alive that i bought from america i think i really like her she's dressed in her little clothes i gave her a little like dress update and i put her like these clothes and i think they're super cute so yeah i just trying to show you guys take lots of pictures on this with me and my baby like this like that. Yeah. That's what I want to show you guys. So now I'm going to go brush my teeth and get ready for bed because I've got school in the morning which I am so excited for. And I am going to be ready for bed in one, two, three. Now I am in my panda pyjamas. So I've got a little panda top here. These are really fluffy and comfortable so I'm going to wear these tonight. So I'll see you tomorrow guys. Mwah. So that is Sarah home 
all back home, not sleeping in a hospital bed tonight, which we're very, very glad about. All dinner's done. Shepherd's pie was all right. I'm not gonna say it was the best shepherd's pie I've ever made, but it was all good. The girls loved it. I wasn't too keen. You didn't make it! Well, <laughs> no, Sarah put it in this morning, but I, like, I out. finished it. No one made it. I, I, I finished it. <laughs> but I'm not saying I finished it the best, because I didn't finish it the best. But I think it's because I added, like, when Sarah went, I added, like, a, like, a, uh, what's it called, babe? Yeah, I did a mixed, like, pre-cut pack of carrots and swede. And the swede ruined the taste. Like, you could taste the swede in, in all of it. And it just was, mm, nah. The girls loved it. I wasn't loving it so much. But anyway, it is that time of day. We're about to say goodnight. These guys are going to bed. It's 8 p.m. And it's time for sleepyheads to get to bed for school tomorrow. Are we ready? Yeah? Right, Mrs. Boo. I love you very much. Have a lovely sleep, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I thought you'd come. I thought you'd come. I heard her pounding up the stairs. She was literally sat with mum two seconds ago and now she's up here. Yeah, well, yeah, we know, Prinny, we know. For We love you too. Right guys, comment below if you missed Prinny the last three weeks. Yeah. And you're happy to have her back. And you, Mrs, have a wonderful sleep, okay? Yeah. I love you very much and I hope and be very excited for your second day at school. Yay. Okay, I'll see you at seven. It's early. So get some good sleep. Ready, one, two, three. Come on, Brittany, let's go, come on. All right, guys, three, two, one, good night. Oh my goodness, guys, look at the actual state of me right now. I've literally got cold sores, ulcers. I don't even know what on my lips, but they're so, so swollen and so painful. It's not even funny. So on that note, we are going to end today's video here. I'm trying to smile and I can't. Literally hurt my lips so bad. I'm going to end today's video here. It's been an eventful day to say the least. But I am feeling much better now. I'm supposed to have a driving lesson tomorrow. I've cancelled that just because I just don't think that I'll be able to concentrate with the sickness and everything. I just, I don't think it's a good idea to take driving lessons. So... We've got a free day again, I'm not really sure what we're going to get up to, but obviously we'll be sharing it with you guys. So don't forget to come back tomorrow at 5pm. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you all so much for your amazing comments over the last couple of days. Our comment section has been so full of awesomeness, and we appreciate it so, so much. So thank you guys, and we'll see you all again tomorrow at 5pm. Good night, guys. Mm -hmm.